Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to check if it's possible to weigh the Obsidian Flame Packs. So I got a full booster box here. I just open it, check all the packs with the, with the weight and kind of distribute it, depends on the actual numbers I got. So we're gonna take a look from the lightest to the heaviest and see if you can weight the Obsidian Flames. And if it is actually weightable, uh, I would advise avoiding uh, buying loose packs from Obsidian Flames. Always uh, get them from sealed products, sealed products, uh, booster boxes or blisters and all the other products. So yeah, let's start with the opening. We'll arrange everything by numbers. So it would be easier for you to see. And you can also skip if you kind of want to see different numbers or kind of match it with your own. But we're gonna start. I have uh, some sleeves ready. And yeah, let's see if it's possible. So we'll start with the 22.47 grams of obsidian flames. I only had three packs and they are the lightest. So let's start. So we have 36 packs to go and if you can wait, wait the packs from a booster box you can wait them from all the other products as well so we'll kind of breeze through the cards and see we managed to get something so first uh, pack from the light one we got clef ex so we got an ex card as you can see is joining the light packs pool. Yeah. So we'll we'll see by the end of this video if it's possible. The other scarlet and violet sets all had the same uh, weight problem. Problem. So we got Pidgeotti X Full Art. Very nice card. So the other set from scarlet and violet you could actually wait the packs and by the look of it so far we we can assume they haven't fixed the problem but you can stick with me and see for yourself from my experience here uh, experiment we have Miraidon EX so out of the light packs we got three out of three uh, hits so light, light packs have pulls now we are moving to the another kind of light pack we have a 22.52 grams that's the only um, pack I could find most of the packs were actually on this area which is good kind of like I can assume they have nothing but we'll see Depends on the card and how much texture he has. So we got Absol EX. We got another hit. So <clears throat> Absol EX. Very interesting. So I would say Pidgeot is the Pidgeot EX is the best card so far from the light ones. And now we're moving to the 22.57 uh, gram. Another pretty light pack, we have uh, two. Let's see. Okay. So, in a full booster box, on average, we should get uh, 11 or 12 hits like this one. So, we already got a bunch of them, and that's the first pack without anything so far. So up to 22.52, uh, you can open packs and probably get something. And the others we'll see now. All right, so no hit as well. So 22.57 have no hits. 
And now we are moving to 22.59. It's very close to this one. We just decided to do a different pile. We have four packs. Uh, this experiment of waiting packs, I don't recommend it as a scam to do it to other people, but I'm using it as a warning also for myself to avoid buying loose packs in the future. Like right now, you can find Obsidian Flame products probably when it releases. You can find it in the next couple years ahead, but you can imagine like in uh, 10 years from now. So Obsidian Flames are probably sold out everywhere and maybe you want to open some of these products and the only options are loose packs from various sources so so maybe i don't know people waited the packs took out all the good hits and they left the uh, dud packs basically with nothing uh, aside and i don't know maybe they used it for I don't know, um, you know, mystery products or such. And yeah, we got the hit. We got Gradient EX, the Resterlized. I don't know. So the first hit from kind of like the middle section, we have an EX with the Resterlized. They have a bit more uh, weight to them compared to other. So that's cool. always good to buy sealed products in my opinion if you have the option or even better you can trade and get the cards you really need so very cool we got very nice PGOT EX we have two PGOT in one box Gita very lovely so PGOT uh, special illustration very nice card a lot of texture I would assume they are near the end that's nice so we have a nice distribution now we're moving to the kind of the big chunk of the box almost half booster box 22.62 grams we have a lot of packs so i'm gonna skip this one a bit we'll see so no hit from that one Really nice design on this one. Okay, that's the code. Overall, Obsidian Flames is not the hardest set to complete, so I wouldn't worry too much about waiting the packs long term. I mean, uh, you can probably find all the cards you need on the secondary market or just trade for them for a pretty affordable price in my opinion probably Charizard Charizard DX is the hardest to obtain but you know it's still possible so obsidian flames we are moving toward Charizard DX, talking about Charizard. So we have, I think we have four Charizard DXs. This is the normal X version. And we also have um, full art gold and very nice uh, crystal Charizard, basically. So that's nice. If we have pulls on everything, uh, it's great. I'm interested. I was sure this was easy to wait just like the other ones. Maybe they fixed something. We'll see. But yeah, this is a Charizard set um, for Charizards. And we'll see long term if this set is actually 
a bit more collectible or something but so far I would say people open it just to get the Charizards which is pretty okay okay <laughs> talking about Charizard so uh, we managed to get the Charizard EX uh, crystal version and Tyranitar EX both in the same pack 22.62 okay so out of the four Charizard we got two of them and this one is the biggest hit as for now uh, it's a gorgeous card lots of texture and I would assume it would be around there because it's like it looks very heavy on texture so we have Charizard DX Charizard DX and we also got Tyranitar EX crystallized terrestrialized full art very nice two heavy cards I would definitely say they should be here like two heavy cards so yeah now I'm a bit confused this is the most interesting uh, can you wait the packs video I think I experienced so far because it's really all over the place for me is this the reverse yeah interesting yeah I would say except this one all the others managed to get us something so if, if all the rest get hits I can say it's actually not possible to wait the packs but let's see I mean that, that's what I'm kind of saying once you get the big hit the big hits um, you can just trade or get the cards and just finish the set without any problem that's why this set should be pretty easy to complete and yeah let's see maybe maybe we'll get another Charizard different version maybe the gold one would be cool but let's see. Sure, we still have a lot of packs to go and yeah bunch of cards and another clay doll I feel like they're all over the place what other cards there are lots of illustration cards which looks great I would like to pick some of them yeah we haven't got no we got this one but we haven't got the normal illustration cards that maybe they are a bit heavier we'll have to see okay so no more hits from that pile of 22.62 which is okay we managed to get uh, great pulls and now we're moving to the other big chunk we have 22.66 and we also get bunch of them so we got nine uh, nine hits so maybe we should get like two more illustration cards without texture and maybe uh, I don't know another card I'm not sure we'll have to see We just need to hit something to verify if obsidian flames is weightable or not. By the way, all the code cards you can grab them once the set releases. 
we got an empty egg for the first time. Nice. I feel like we have a lot of packs to go through. Okay, we got Scizor Illustration Rare card in Gita. Very cool card. So, yeah, we got one of the illustration cards. Very, very nice card. So, it's kind of like, like this one, but without texture. So, I would assume they will be kind of like this way. Let's we'll see. Very nice box, I must say. This is out of 36 packs. So, 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 yeah. We are almost reaching the end of this experiment. Slash opening. And so far it's going pretty well. Not a clay, but at least the fifth one, maybe. I have to say. Overall, this set is like the original set. Let's take a look, like 197 cards, less than 200. And if you include all the special cards, you get to 230, which is not a lot at all. So you can actually finish this set with, I would say you can buy a booster box, uh, get the majority of the cards and then trade or buy the single card you're missing and that would be it that would be the full complete set we got Kalefa very nice illustration card and guitar as well so, that card look way better than the foils I must say yeah definitely going to the top 5 or 10 of this set for me so we got the illustrations out of the heavier packs, by the way. And yeah, let's see if we can get some more pulls toward the end, or maybe this pack. One more pack for the 22.66. Okay, Obsidian Flames. and just to dark light so so far we have a really good distribution from the lightest to the heaviest and it's kind of like all over the place so i would say at this moment it is not actually uh, weightable and that's the 22.70 the heaviest pack i could find so yeah by the way, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel so I can make more cool content like this. And last pack, no, nothing, but just, oh, this one feels really heavy for some reason. Yeah, it's kind of like almost double layered card. Okay, so that's the results of the Can You Wait, the Obsidian Flame packs. We had seven different uh, weight options from lightest to heaviest. And we actually managed to get uh, from all the lightest ones, but also from the middle section, most of it, uh, really good hits. So that's the 22.47. We're going to like do a recap. Uh, Absol, 22.52. We have a bit of a jump here. And we managed to get these two. And 22.47. 6.2 was really surprising to me. We got a lot of texture and heavy cards. And moving on to 22.66, we had the illustration card. So the illustrations were more toward the, the normal illustrations were more toward the heavier side. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video test. And yeah, I'll see you next time. If you want to check some Obsidian Flame products, you can check the links in the description below and support the channel. Of course, uh, try to buy sealed. Bye, see you next time.